By my early 20s, I hit 300 pounds and I was covered in stretch marks. If you look closely, you could probably see one. At age 14, doctors diagnosed me with arthritis in my knees. By 29, a doctor looked me in the eye, told me I had a very high risk of stroke and heart attack based on my lab results. Today, the calendar says I'm in my 50s, but the doctors and lab tests say I'm somewhere in my 30s and I have more energy now than I did when I was 20. And it's all because I've learned how to reverse my age. But if that's possible, how far can we take it? Did I reach my potential or am I just getting started? That's when a burning question popped into my mind. Could I live to at least 180 years old? The answers I found are not what you'd expect. There are people who have officially lived far beyond 100 years old today, but no one's talking about it. For example, Jean Calment. With a lifespan of just 122 years, she is the longest lived person in recent history. Or Jamoran Kamora, the oldest verified man who made it to 116. These people weren't just lucky. They were just like you and me who are conditioned to believe that living to 70 or 80 or 90 is the best you can hope for. But what if that's not true? In fact, don't these people show that that's not true? Every single day, I test and push the limits of what the human body and mind are capable of. I've spent two and a half million dollars on biohacking research and reversing my age, from stem cell therapy to age reversal peptides, from AI-driven health monitoring to genetic reprogramming. Yes, I did that to myself. With every passing day, I feel like I have the sharpness and energy that I wish I had when I was 30. And I want you to have this too. For most of history, aging was just an unstoppable process. We were helpless. Your cells just break down, your energy declines, and eventually your body gives out. But that's old science. What we know today is that aging isn't just wear and tear, it's a process. A process that you can slow, you can stop, or even reverse. And right now, top scientists have already extended the lifespan of animals by over 50% in labs, and sometimes by more than 90%. Science has reversed aging in human cells. We've seen 60-year-olds biologically test as 30-year-olds using nothing but advanced biohacking. In fact, research from Scientific American shows that the human body could live up to 150 years. And here's what no one's telling you. These breakthroughs aren't coming in 50 years, they're happening right now. We're on the edge of a revolution, one that is going to redefine human lifespan as we know it. The real question isn't if we can live to 180. The question is how? And that's exactly what I'm looking to answer in all of my work today. Let's start with the first switch I flipped in my own body, because if you don't fix this, nothing else matters. The difference between someone who ages fast and someone who stays young comes down to this one thing. When I was 29, my doctor told me I was at high risk of heart attack. I was running on empty. Every cell in my body was failing to produce enough energy. Why? Because this one thing wasn't working well for me. And this thing does everything when it comes to longevity. It determines how fast you age, how much energy you have, how sharp your brain is, even how well your body repairs itself. Most people never think about it, but if you can upgrade it, you can literally extend your life. It is the mitochondria, the powerhouse of your cells and the secret to how humans can live to be at least 180 years old. That's why I completely upgraded my mitochondria from the inside out. I used high intensity interval training to promote mitochondrial growth, fasting to clear out weak cells, cold exposure to make my mitochondria more efficient, and advanced supplementation to fuel my mitochondria. The result, I flipped my energy production back to what it should have been when I was in my 20s and 30s. To live longer, you need to supercharge your mitochondria. Red light therapy directly stimulates mitochondria energy production. But despite recharging your mitochondria, if you wanna live past 150, you need to remove the things that are actively killing you and your mitochondria. These things are the biggest killer of aging gracefully because they cause oxidative stress and cell damage and they even speed up brain aging. Some of the biggest killers include environmental and food toxins like heavy metals or processed seed oils, canola, soybean, corn oil. That's because aging doesn't happen when your skin wrinkles or when your joints ache. It happens at the cellular level when your mitochondria start failing. When they weaken, you weaken and you feel it. Your energy drops, your metabolism slows, you get brain fog. And when your mitochondria die, you die. To keep your mitochondria healthy, follow an anti-inflammatory diet, avoid toxins in your living space and in your food, exercise, take supplements like urolifin A, vitamin Dake, minerals and NAD precursors. But that's just one part of the equation. The next wave of longevity breakthroughs isn't just about keeping your cells from breaking down, it's about turning back the clock. Right now, 
We have access to stem cell rejuvenation, epigenetic reprogramming, plasma exchange, and even gene therapy. This is tech that can literally reset aging at the DNA level, and I've done all of it to myself, and it's already working. We've reversed aging in human cells by turning old cells into young ones. We've extended the lifespan of mammals by activating genes that shut off aging. And we've seen real world cases of people biologically reversing their age by decades. In 10 years, these therapies will be as common as taking a vitamin. People hear 180 years and they might think I'm crazy, but that's because they're looking at the wrong timeline. If you're alive today, you have access to technology that can add 10, 20, even 30 years to your life right now. And in the next two decades, longevity science is exploding. By the time I'm 90, the tools that exist will be light years ahead of what we have today. We're not just extending life, we're fundamentally rewriting the rules of aging. And we're talking about being older and being better functioning than you are today. 180 doesn't have to be the limit. Maybe someday it could even be the norm. So the real question is not, can you live longer? The real question is, will you do what it takes to get there? And will you enjoy the process along the way? Because the future is coming fast. And the people who start now, we are the ones who get to see it. Now, you can have the best diet, the most advanced supplements, and the latest technology. But if you're stressed, lonely, or living without purpose, you won't make it. The longest lived people don't just have strong bodies. They have strong, resilient minds. They cultivate emotional balance. They have a reason to wake up every morning. But their real secret isn't about living longer. It's about staying fully alive for as long as you choose. It's about making sure that when you reach 100, 150, or even 180, you're not just existing. You're not just surviving, you are thriving. And that's why this journey isn't just about science or hacks. It's a complete redefinition of what's possible for human lifespan and human happiness and human consciousness. So here's the question. I gave you the roadmap. The science is here. The methods are here. The proof is here. Will you take control of your time or will you let time take control of you?